Can you still make money flipping items at the flea market? We're going to head to the Nashville flea market and find out. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button as well as subscribe to my channel. Every Friday, I make a new video about personal finance and technology. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos. So we're going to continue the series and head to the Nashville Flea Market and see if we can find some items to flip for my eBay store. So let's head out to the Nashville Flea Market and see if we can find some items to flip.
So here's everything that I got from the flea market. I spent $160 for everything. And I'll show you kind of how that broke down. I actually got, because I spent so much with one person, um, they actually gave me some free items and then got some free items here. So I'll kind of do a little breakdown here and then show you what I picked up. First, we'll start with this side here. I got these for $25 total. And here, the gentleman initially had $8 on there and I asked him if I got some multiple figures, would he be able to reduce the price a little bit? Here's Penguin um, new in the box. And he said, yes. So I picked out some of the ones that I didn't already have for an eBay store. And um, I knew that since these were in the boxes, I knew that I can get pretty good pricing for them. But I'll put some comps on the screen showing you what these are selling for here. But Scarecrow is probably my favorite out of the ones that I picked up today as far as the action figures. There's a couple other Ninja Turtle ones that I like also, but all of these are pretty cool. And they're new in the box, like I said. So $8 I thought wasn't too bad for them. So, and then bought these action figures here. So I bought, so they were $5 a piece, which is a little, little pricey for me. Typically I try to stay away from, especially the loose figures. If they're $5, that's, that's a little too high for me. But I told him that, hey, if I bought some, would you be able to reduce it? So so what he did instead I actually bought this one for five that one for five and then I think this Ninja Turtle for five and I picked out this one just to make it an even 20 just to see what he would do and he actually threw these two Power Rangers in for free and so this one and this one were actually free so um, ended up being about what three dollars and something a piece and then this here um, I got all of the games that you see here, including this one, and then these action figures for $115. Now, because I spent so much with the gentleman, he actually threw this Donatello in here, and then this Donatello with his accessory, and then the Raphael also. Threw that one in for free, and then this Masters of the Universe pop action figure and I I thought it was not bad he, he threw it in so I was like I'll try to sell it if I can if not then I'll potentially donate it but you know I thought that was good but he gave me those four items because I spent so much with them X-Men uh, for the Sega Genesis Double Dragon I got the first and the second one for NES Wrecking Crew actually sells for quite a bit I think it's like a $25 plus game and then when I first went there for the flea market I bought the second Ninja Turtles for the NES, um, so went ahead and got this one for the NES. Rampage, also for NES, and then WrestleMania. And then for the SNES, Mega Man X, Clay Fighter, and Raw, and then WrestleMania, the arcade game. And uh, of course he discounted it because I bought as much as I did. I think of most of them were about five to $10, which they normally sell for 20 to 25 plus. So um, definitely got a good deal on these. And then the action figures down at the bottom, I think Bebop by itself, um, and he's actually in pretty good shape. I know he sells for about $20 plus. Got him for five with accessories. I think his name is Panda Quan, I think if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he got him for five. He sells pretty good also. He has all of his accessories. And then this one also had the accessories and got him for five also. Have never played the Wrecking Crew. I might have to play it before I list it because that's just something I've never got a chance to, to play. It $160 for everything that you see here and got some free items here um, that are only gonna be profit for me. So let me know what you think. If I did a good job picking out some of this stuff at the flea market, if I also passed over some stuff, I definitely was able to pick up quite a bit of stuff. I think that for $160 for some of the stuff that I picked up, definitely a good deal. But comment below and tell me what you think. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.